Hi guys. Today for lunch, I got some Raising Cane's. Super stoked to eat it. And it's the box combo, which it has the toast, some coleslaw, the cane sauce fries. And there's all the chicken strips are buried. There's four of these puppies in here. So I'm really hungry and really excited. So we're gonna go ahead and eat. And I also have um, some Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce, regular ketchup, and Whataburger spicy ketchup because I always run out of ketchup. These things all like fail. It's a nice helping of coleslaw. Cane sauce. Awesome. Cheers. It's been forever since I've had canes. The sauce is kind of a um, spicy, um, kind of like a ranch mayo blend. Pretty good. We'll start with this. This one. so good I think for chicken strips that Raising Cane's is going to be the top place to go for me and I love Whataburger but they've just been really lacking in their chicken strips Let me try this. Hmm, pretty good. It's tasty for sure. <laughs> Some of this. Lately, I've been spending a lot of time at home. Um, as much as it has been nice sometimes, um, <clears throat> it can get a little overwhelming, what with like quarantine and stuff. But one of the highlights to my day um, is being in the studio and playing music, writing music. Um, and it finally feels fun again. And I say that because I really started playing guitar in like sixth grade and I was taking some lessons and then I kind of got burned out. I don't know, it just wasn't really like sticking and it just felt more like a chore and I started not having fun with it anymore. Didn't 
start playing guitar until high school. And I took a classical guitar class, which was a little different from what I have because I have an electric guitar and an electric acoustic guitar. Classical guitars have the nylon strings. And the style's a little bit different when you play it. But anyways, even at that point, it was, I still felt like uncomfortable and it wasn't really my thing yet. So I'll kind of abandon it and I have to say I retired from music. <laughs> my short lived career. But as time passed, you know, I just, I continue to write more because I write poetry and I write short stories. And some of them would take on the form of like songs. And they were just melodies in my head, just words, no music. And I still had my guitars, I just never used them. Last year, I joined a tribute band as a vocalist and that has been like a really eye-opening experience, a soul path experience. Because one side of me is like super shy and the other side kind of, you know, I can handle the spotlight a little bit or I like performing, I like making people smile. So that was really cool. And it was uh, for one of my favorite bands, Ghost. And I had never felt those kind of bonds before or that kind of energy or high as I always like to reference it. Until our first gig and then the next few gigs after that. I love this stuff. I'm gonna save it. <laughs> and as um, we started doing gigs, I started picking up my guitars very slowly again and trying to put music to some stuff I had written. It was a slow process. I remember like basic chords and things like that, but I just, it was slow going, like getting the cogs turning and I don't know any theory or anything like that. But fast forward, like some months later, you know, I was able to work with my, my partner and we're putting music to one of my songs. Finally, you know, I think we just needed the proper headspace too, because that's also a thing with creatives. We can have so much work, but there has to be that mental energy there. Like for me, I haven't written a new poem in God knows like a long time, like a serious poem that I want to put out there. And if it doesn't happen, it just doesn't happen. And that's how I learned to treat the music and the art. You know, it's just for fun. And I think once you start putting all this pressure on yourself, the quality of the content and your passion for it just kind of wavers. So like I said, it's been nice to kind of have this love rejuvenated. And my an, uh, an avenue of expression open up and again open up again so <clears throat> taking it day by day being gentle with myself appreciating the moments that I have and just letting the music and the words just come naturally. I'm not looking for any sort of like special recognition when it comes to something as personal as original music. But what I've always said with it's anything in my life that somebody can take away from, if they can be helped by it, then that's a win. Because I like helping people. I like listening to them and connecting with them.
I'm a weenie. So anything that's mildly spicy just makes my, my nose run. <laughs> Now, as far as singing goes, I never took any lessons. I wasn't in choir in middle school or high school. I was always like drama class or art. But I definitely had those moments. Like when you know you're in a room and you're a teenager and you're singing into your hairbrush and just rocking out thinking you're somebody else. That was me. Because I was like really painfully shy growing up. But I felt that was, that was the only way I can really... I always wanted to feel powerful. Like when I was little, I always imagined that I was a dragon. Like I was in elementary, right? I wanted that sense of confidence, I guess. And the first time I sang in public was like at a Applebee's uh, Karaoke Tuesday with some old co-workers of mine. Um, I remember we were drinking and um, they I had the karaoke thing going and I remember thinking, well, I should just do it. Like I've been singing constantly. That's, I was always singing in the car, in my house, anywhere I could go, not in public, right? And so I was like, you know, what? I, I signed up. I put down myself, I, I put myself down for an Adam Lambert song. And then I started chugging water after the one or two margaritas that I had. <laughs> And then I went to the bathroom and just was putting uh, the song in my ear. I had it on my phone or something. I was listening to make sure I would sing it right, you know? All lame. <laughs> and then I got up there and I did it. You could tell my, my voice was a little shaky. I was so nervous. But once that initial ice broke, and I kept doing it a few more times, like years later, like in the last one or two years, started going out with some different friends and started participating in different karaoke nights throughout uh, my city. You just kind of, you learn to have fun with it and your nerves kind of go away. Because it's always, it's all about fun. If you're not having fun with what you're doing, then maybe you shouldn't really be doing it. So, um, of course, like I said, I was in the tribute band, sang to myself and I was trying to write my little songs. And I, then I started uh, streaming, started singing on Twitch. Like, it was also like a karaoke night type of deal. And that's been fun, learning experience, but I got too burned out. I was streaming twice a week for like, what, three or, three, three or four months, maybe? Or was it two? But it was a lot. Um, I don't think I was so much vocally tired as I was mentally exhausted. And I didn't give myself enough time to practice the songs because... Tuesdays would be like random karaoke, and then Thursdays would be like genre nights, band nights. Um, I'm almost out of this cane sauce. Mm, that's so good. And then it was right around the time COVID really hit, spending some more time at home. And I was like, I need to rethink this schedule because I'm not having fun anymore. And it's becoming like a chore. And I was getting a little discouraged because I was watching the viewers and it was just supposed to be for fun. So I shouldn't have really been concerned with that. So I took a step back. I don't think I streamed for like a couple weeks and came back with one day, you know, and I've been enjoying that, uh, that schedule. I like challenging myself. I like throwing on different songs I've never sang before. I'm a little weaker when it comes to like pop or hip hop because I don't really listen to that stuff. I'm more of a rock country type of girl, 
oldies. I really love oldies. So yeah, like I'm, that's a little personal goal that I, I'm kind of set, setting up for myself to sing a little bit more on my off time, along with um, writing music, finishing some songs, and journaling because I've been journaling also. Because this whole thing that the world is going through is depressing and I'm a really emotional person. So I tend to take too much in and not put like a protective barrier with myself. So I started writing to kind of help deal. And it's really, really helped. I think these fries could have been crispier. They're just like normal. Normally, se normal seasoned, if at all. Mmm, the last piece. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of talk about what I've been doing, how I've been using my free time when I'm here at home. And again, reiterate like how happy I am. Again, picking up the guitar. <laughs> oh, something happened to me a few days ago. I was in the studio practicing and I felt really good. I felt really accomplished because I was getting some chord sections down. And I was just there, really happy with my original guitar that I still have. And I was sitting on this like swivel chair and I'm there with my guitar and I'm like really in the moment. I'm happy I finally got this thing down. And I kind of lean back, you know, just in a state of bliss and I wipe out. I fall to the floor, the amp makes this like really big sound because my guitar hits the ground and I'm just like, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> um, the guitar hits the ground and I'm just like, eh. Like after the initial shock wore off, I just kind of laughed about it. But literally it just felt like my, laugh, my life flashed before my eyes. Finish off these fries. We'll see if I actually do. Normally I don't finish fries when it comes to meals like this, but I've been really hungry, so we'll see. This is the box combo, by the way. It's like $7.29 with the drink. So it's a pretty good deal, I think. a lot of ice in this thing. You know, my new mantra, my philosophy as of late, like I mentioned earlier, was like living day by day, moment by moment. But I still like to think about the day I can get back on stage again with my friends. Something quiet or something like loud, like a rock show. Or even just go to shows in general because I'm like a huge live show person. I love concerts. 
for a while there, I was like traveling quite a bit. It was like every few months, like what was it last year or the year before? Traveling to Houston mostly, San Antonio. Who will see these bands I love? And I'm glad I had those opportunities, for sure. I think that's it. Maybe the rule of thumb is to like, until all your sauce runs out, then you can throw in the towel. <laughs> Over here, licking up everything. I've been, cra I've been craving some like fried chicken and this really hit the spot. I think that's it. <laughs> so that was my lunch and I'm super satisfied. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.